thing. Look, baby, somebody shrunk the bachelor. I can only stay for a sec. I gotta go to my piano lesson. You still take piano lessons? No. I'm giving. Oh. Hey, Kitty. Hi, Franklin. You look lovely today, as always. Thank you. This is for you. It's beautiful. Not as beautiful as you. Why can't you be more like Franklin? Oh. I've got to run. Maybe tomorrow I can call you after nap time. That'd be terrific. Isn't she great? <laughs> Why can't you be more like Franklin? You want me like Franklin? Okay, would you take me upstairs and bring me? Get out of here! Be so great. Hey, Mr. Kyle. Hey, Frankenberry. You know, I have a bone to pick with you, sir. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be going to the stupid opera with my wife on Saturday. Oh, I think you and Mrs. Kyle are gonna enjoy it. Are you seeing Carmen? Oh, I don't know who's in it. I just don't want to go. Well, Mrs. Cam must be pretty happy about it. Yeah. What are you going to wear? I don't know. Thinking about putting on some jeans and a nice shirt. <laughs> With a tie? <laughs> Maybe a suit? Uh, tuxedo? I'm gonna wear a tuxedo, then I probably have to get the car washed. <laughs> Come on, you want me to spring for a taxi? <laughs> You're talking limo. <laughs> well, if I'm gonna get a limo, then I probably have to stock it up with beer? No, nope, don't you threaten me with that finger. <laughs> Some liquor. Good liquor? Uh, champagne. Franklin, it's a good thing you're a great piano player, because with your taste, you're going to need a lot of money. <laughs> All right, kid. Will you stop worrying about Franklin? I don't like that boy, Jay. Something about him just Whatever, rubbed me Michael. the wrong way. Whatever. I think you got an agenda. I know something. I know something. You fall uh -uh, for that. See. You know what I'm gonna do for you? Hmm. I'm gonna give you a nice long back rub when we get home. A nice long kiss. Uh, how about this? A nice. Followed me. How'd you get in the house? This is the doggy door. The doggy door? I gotta nail that thing shut. We don't even have a dog anymore. What happened to him? He ran away through the doggy door. Bummer. Bummer, yeah, that was his name. And now he's gone. Just like Junior? Yep. Bummer. Bummer. <laughs> well, seriously, I'm right not listening to a fine dad like you. Really? Yeah. Is Katie around? Well, actually, Katie's still at school. I'll wait. OK. You know, my good man, you have to put the satellite connection through the DVD. <laughs> I knew that. Of course, the satellite through the... What, do you think this is some high-tech, complicated stuff here? Want me to do it for you? Yeah, please, would you? <laughs> well, it's just me and you, Franklin. Yep. Two men. Two manly, manly men. Yep. Two big men, side by side, in the trenches of mandom. Watching sports the way men were supposed to watch sports, without the intrusive influence of women. Yep. Franklin! <laughs> Traitor. Bummer, is that you, boy? No, it's me, Mr. Kyle, your future son in law. Hey, Franklin. Is Katie around? No, she's at ballet lessons. Good. That gives me some time to rehearse. May I use your piano? Well, you're on your way. Go ahead and knock yourself out. <laughs> so what are you rehearsing? Oh, I composed a song for Katie. Want to hear it? Sure. Katie, Katie, Katie. Wow, that was wonderful. 
for it. Aren't you gonna write some more words for it, though? After you say Katie, there's nothing left to say. <laughs> oh, boy, you got it bad, don't you? Yep, I sure do. I got love jokes. And I bet you're like that was Mrs. Kyle when you first met her. Hmm. Well, actually, we were a little bit too much like that. What happened? Junior. I don't get it. You're not supposed to. Look, you're welcome to stay here as long as you want, Franklin, but Katie's not coming home till dinner time. May I come back then? You may, if you can. <laughs> How delightful. I see where Katie gets her great sense of humor. Really? <laughs> Bye, Mr. Kyle. Take care then, Franklin. <laughs> Hey, you scared me. No, I'm just sitting here waiting for Katie and playing some Godfather. I sure do love The Godfather. You've seen The Godfather? It's the greatest movie ever made. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I try to get out, they pour me back. <laughs> That's how I feel about Katie. Okay, you know, hey, hey, enough with that Schroeder. <laughs> My reason for being. Hey, you have cake. Yeah, want some? I'd love some. Actually, you can average all. Thanks. Wait a minute. Just a cotton picking minute. Why do you share with Franklin, but you won't share with me? May I speak for you? Sure. <laughs> Mr. Kyle, the reason why Katie doesn't share with you is because you tell her she has to. Uh huh. You see, true sharing is a gift from one open heart to another. Did you see the Michael Jackson special? <laughs> you can't dictate it. You just have to let it happen. Like this. Mr. Kyle, would you like my piece of cake? Get out. Excuse me? Take the cake and go, Liberace. Come on, come on. Don't come in here telling me how to run my family, buddy. Just give him time. <laughs> you had to strive me into his arms, Daddy. Hi, Mr. Kyle. Hey, <laughs> it's Frank and Spy. How you doing? I didn't even see you lurking back there. I was just fluffing up the pillows, trying to make the house look nice and neat. So, did you come to see Katie, or you come to play with your dear old friend, Mr. Kyle? <laughs> what do you think? Katie! Hey, Franklin. Hi, Mrs. Kyle. So, babe, you ready for your big adventure? Baby, you will never believe this. You know, I can't find my keys. I seem to have misplaced them. You might want to check under those nice fluffy pillows. <laughs> Franklin, don't you think you guys are a little too young to be talking about marriage? Mrs. Kyle. I've been in love with Katie from the first moment I laid eyes on her. My words cannot do justice for what I feel for her, so I must borrow some words from the bard. The who? Shakespeare. Oh, that bard. I thought you were talking about Bard Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> Compare thee to a summer's day, thou art more lovely and more tempted. Rough winds do All shake. All right, enough of the rough stuff. <laughs> Shh. Continue, Franklin. So long as men can breathe or eyes can see, so long live this, and this gives life to thee. Why can't you Ow. be more like Franklin? <laughs> You know what? I got an idea. Why don't we take you to get some ice cream instead of all this marriage talk, huh? Just the four of us. What do you say? That actually sounds better than marriage. It sure is. Anytime with Katie, it's okay with me. Okay, I'll meet you guys in the car, right? Okay. Taking the kids out. That's very sweet. Well, thank you. I've learned from Franklin. Oh, Jay. Oh, Jay. How do I love thee? I am betwixt by the sway of your hindquarters. Shut up. 
enchanted and delighted. Hark! The soldier stands at attention. <laughs> Sure, Franklin. What a masculine room. This is a quintessential guy experience. Yeah, I just put that urinal in. Now I never have to leave the room. Go ahead, take a shot. I'll turn my head. <laughs> no, thanks. I'm empty. <laughs> There's only one thing missing that prevents it from being absolutely fabulous. And what's that? The feminine touch of your lady love. Yeah, well, that's a touch I'm not going to be receiving for quite a while. Want to talk about it? My shoulders may be small, but they're sturdy. Well, I guess your advice can't be no worse than the advice I've been getting. What's the problem? All right. Mrs. Kyle found a picture of an old friend of mine, and she thinks because I saved the picture that I'm more attracted to that old friend than I am to her, which is absolutely not the truth. Women are emotional creatures, Mr. Kyle. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that Mrs. Kyle feels threatened and insecure by that picture, which I'm assuming is a picture of an attractive young lady. <laughs> what kind of kid are you? Change the subject, Mr. Kyle. You know, sometimes it's hard to admit the truth to yourself. Yeah? What you need to do is look deep inside your heart and ask yourself one question. Why did I save that picture? <laughs> when you can answer that question honestly to yourself, you'll know exactly how to apologize to Mrs. Kyle. Hmm. Thanks. Did you make me a whiskey sour? <laughs> Florida. What's it called? Hammerhead Tech University. Oh, sounds like a perfect pick for you. Yeah, well, the only problem is I have to write an essay on why I want to go there, and I'm having trouble with it. Oh, uh, well, I can't help you. I'm lousy at essays. What you need is someone smart, somebody creative. Yeah, but I don't know anybody like that. Sure is. Franklin, can I talk to you for a minute? No. We're in the middle of our lesson. Oh, this will just take a minute, Franklin. In the meantime, you can come with me, and I'll let you put on my makeup. OK. OK, come on. I'll be right back. I'll be counting the seconds, my dove. So far. <laughs> what do you want? Well, that's kind of a hostile attitude. Gift to mankind, and now I'm stuck with his biggest joke. So make it quick. Okay. <laughs> um, look, I need some help writing a college essay. No problem. I wrote a lot of those when I was applying to college. <laughs> you already applied to college? Duh. I graduated from an Ivy League school two years ago. Wow. Through the internet. Oh, what'd you study? Marine archaeology, quantum physics, biochemistry. You know, just the basics. Yeah, did you take any fun courses? Hello, didn't you hear me say quantum physics? <laughs> Come on, let's get this over with so I can get back to Katie. All right. Hey, do you think maybe I can get into an Ivy League school? Uh, no. <laughs> Chapter one. Sing, O oh goddess, the anger of Achilles, son of Peleus. Wait a minute. That does not sound like Homer Simpson. Do. <laughs> You're so delightful. Oh, there he is. Come here, my little guy. You are a I genius. Oh man, you are brilliant. What did I do? You did the impossible. You inspired me to complete my essay. Oh my. You finished it? Yeah, but the only thing is, I'm not sure if it's any good or not. Why don't you read it to us? All right, but I want honest reactions. Dear sirs, you asked me why I feel I should be admitted to Hammerhead Tech. If grades were what mattered, then I don't deserve to be accepted. If test scores were what mattered, I don't deserve to be admitted. If being on time or 
even being present mattered, then I certainly wouldn't be hammerhead material. My grades and scores are low because I never took education or life seriously. But all that has changed recently because I have fallen in love. And love has opened my eyes to my responsibilities in life. I see now where I have failed. And I ask you to give me a chance to redeem myself for me and for my future bride, Vanessa. If you accept me, I promise to become a proud alumni of the greatest college in America, Hammerhead Tech University. From a man deeply changed by love, I remain yours truly, Michael Kyle Jr. That's uh, that bad, huh? Is that from a few syntax errors? It's perfect. <laughs> Franklin, how you doing? Katie's upstairs. Actually, my business is with you, Mr. Gal. Really? Step into my office. You know, your office looks a lot like my kitchen. Ha, 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 ha. Now, I understand that Junior had a semi-successful interview at Reddington University. Where'd you hear that? They called me. He put me down to one of his references. I fudged the truth a little bit and gave him a good recommendation. I sure hope he gets in. I loved my time there. You took a class at Reddington? Nope, taught one. Piano for people with small hands. But I digress. The purpose of my visit is to make you a proposal. OK, well, let's hear it. If Junior leaves home, I would like to be considered the position of your son. Really? Yes. And I think we can both agree that my future is very bright. And I could be extremely helpful to you and Mrs. Kyle when it comes to things like tax preparations, estate planning, or any of your marine archaeology needs. <laughs> it's almost a 20-page proposal. Well, Franklin, it seems to me that this is just a way of you getting closer to Katie. I think you dropped a quarter. It's not my quarter. I guess you got a visit from the quarter fairy. I guess I did. I'll tell you what, Franklin. How about in the meantime, I just treat you like my son? Hmm? And you can start by going to the refrigerator and getting me a beer. Certainly, Dad. <laughs> what is a vector derivative? Could you repeat the question? <laughs> Listen up this time. What is a vector derivative? I think that's what Sulu caught from the Klingons. <laughs> no. A vector derivative is a derivative taken with respect to a vector field. Vector derivatives are extremely important in physics. They arise throughout fluid mechanics, electricity and magnetism, elasticity, and many other areas of theory and applied physics. This kid is good. Tell me about it. I'm never going to get this stuff. Wrong answer. We'll get this stuff. Why? Because your teacher is highly motivated. The sooner you learn this stuff, the sooner you move out and I move in. <laughs> so what is a vector derivative? OK, OK. <laughs> a vector derivative is a derivative taken with respect to a vector field. Vector derivatives are extremely important in physics, where they arise throughout fluid mechanics, electricity and magnetism, elasticity, and many other areas of theory and applied physics, sir. There is hope for you yet, maggot. <laughs> We're making real progress, Dad. <laughs>